Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you five most useful classic twin skills in Anime CC. So let's get started. Okay, so let's create the new document first. Uh, 640 by 480 pixel and uh, frame rate 24 and uh, platform type HTML5 canvas. Create it. And then <clears throat> please change your stitch color to black. Fade to screen. And then um, you can uh, download the, uh, the sample logo file I provided in my description or you can use your own logo design. Really doesn't matter. So I'm going to import it to my stage, which is this SVG file. And then uh, please choose the first radio button, import all path into the same layer and frame. I'm going to align the center, check that yeah, you're aligned to stage box here, and vertical and horizontal center. Okay, so number one move we're gonna move it it's pretty simple so uh, first the thing is I'm going to set my uh, logo uh, on left so I'm gonna move it from left to the right it's gonna be really simple and then um, I'm gonna use just the yeah, one second animation time duration so frame uh, 24 frames um, highlight the frame and then insert the keyframe then you're gonna see this the, um, uh, the segment in gray now hold down the control key or right click and click anywhere in between. Then choose create classic twin. So now we have a departure, the first keyframe and the second keyframe as a destination. So on my second keyframe is highlighted. Let me just move it to the right. That's it. So moving is done. Now, number two, scale. Everything's the same setting. 640 by 480 and black background and then my logo. Scaling. Uh, always uh, the beginning is the same. Highlight the yeah, frame number 24 or one second or any uh, time duration you want to use. And insert the keyframe first. And then um, place your mouse cursor somewhere in between anywhere. Hold down the control or right click and insert uh, create classic twin. Now I want to change the size. So I want to start from the smaller size and getting bigger or the vice versa. It really doesn't matter. So let me select yeah, my place my playhead uh, on frame number one. Now choose your logo. Okay, and then you can use this free transform tool. See? Uh, and hold down the shift key and make it smaller. Let me deselect it. And this happens. Okay. Or, let me go back, undo it. You can open this the, uh, transform panel. And then you can enter a um, certain amount, the different value. So I'm going to check this kind of a constraint chain so I can keep the same proportion. So let me type that 20% smaller. Okay. Number three, uh, rotate. Highlight the um, uh, frame number 24, which is one second mark. Insert the keyframe again. Place your mouse cursor somewhere in between. Hold down the control or right click. Create classic twin. Okay, now I have a choice. On frame number one or on frame number 24. Okay, then I'm highlighting frame number 24 now. Let me choose my free transform tool. And then when you place your mouse cursor around the corner, you see that? Now you can rotate it like this. If you hold down the shift key, you can rotate 180 or 90 degree. See, this happens. 
Another option is, so I, un, I did undo everything. Highlight the first keyframe where I inserted um, the, my first keyframe. And then uh, in my uh, properties panel, you're going to see that rotate option. You can choose clockwise or counterclockwise. Let me choose a clockwise. And I want to rotate just once. And it will rotate like this. Okay. Okay. If you increase these numbers of rotation like a two twice, then it's gonna be faster. Because it rotates the um, um twice in one second. So it rotates the end of faster. Okay. So rotate is done. Now number four. Fade, fading in and fading out. Okay, so the first thing is, I'm going to select uh, frame number one. Same way, insert a, a keyframe. Okay, now select any frame in between, hold down the control or right click and insert classic twin. Okay, so we have a departure and destination. So, I want to have a fade in. So on my first keyframe, place my um, um, playhead on frame number one. Your properties panel, it shows me um, uh, when I click on my first keyframe, this is the information about my um, um, frame. Make sure you click on your image, your logo, on your stage directly. Now this properties panel, it shows me information about my logo. And then, so I'm here, here uh, you can see the color effect, the drop-down menu. Choose the alpha, and then there's a slide bar. You can move it side by side. So I'm going to set my alpha value, which is transparent value, down to zero. So it is fading in. If you want to have the fading out, opposite, highlight the first keyframe, Select your image on your stage. Set the alpha value on your first keyframe to 100. And on your second keyframe, click on your image, your logo, and set the alpha value down to zero. So now it is fading out. OK. Now, number five, we're going to combine all four skills, scaling, moving, rotating, and fading in, into one. So, same procedure. Highlight the frame number four, which is one second mark. Insert the keyframe. Okay. And then place your mouse cursor somewhere in between. Hold down the control or right click and create classic twin. So, first, uh, let me change the scale on my first keyframe. I'm going to start from the kind of a smaller size. So, um, let me open transform panel. I will reduce the size like a 20% smaller. So it does this. Okay. And also, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to move it. So what I'm going to do is, I want to change the position of this logo on my first keyframe. So highlight the first keyframe, and let me move it down a little bit, maybe not too much. So it is moving up and scaling up, like this. Okay, now I want to add the rotation. So on my first keyframe, highlight it, uh, like we did in my properties panel, choose clockwise or the counterclockwise, either one's fine. Let me do the counterclockwise this time, once. So it is moving, scaling up, and rotating at the same time. So three things are all combined. So now one last thing is fading in. Let me highlight the first keyframe again. 
click on my logo on my stage. In the properties panel, make sure your playhead is on frame number one. I want to have a fade in. So um, let me choose the alpha value down to zero. So it is fading in and rotating and scaling up and moving up. All four. Okay, so uh, yeah, so um, I covered uh, scaling, moving, rotating, fading, and combining all four into one logo animation. Okay, so I hope uh, this video helps you, uh, and thanks for watching, and see you next time.